good day everyone so I hope you're doing well um, yes if you watched my video from Friday I bought a model 24 and I know 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 I said back in the early part of the year when I was testing out the model 16 that it wasn't for me and honestly at that time it was not so I thought I'd make a quick video of what I intend to do, why I bought this, and everything else, and just discuss that. So first off, um, to answer the question, am I selling my DP32? I've had a few people already ask me that who, who are friends of mine. I think they're interested in the DP32, that's why. And I said, no, I am not selling the DP32. There are things that the DP32 can do that the Model 24 can't, and I love it for that fact. I still love the thing I'm still going to use it it's still going to be a part of my whole recording process it's just that as I said things have changed in my life and it's just become it's become a necessary evil to have this now the reason I got this also is because I ended up doing some video work for a company in town and I thought you know what I really enjoyed using the Model 16. It was really nice to have it by the drum set to record the drums. Um, I want that again. I want, but I want something bigger. And the reason, and so yeah, so I used I used most of the money I got from that to buy this. Um, and the reason I wanted the Model 24, not the Model 16, is I wanted those extra inputs. I think I think I said the Model. 16 had 12 inputs like I, I I'm not arguing semantics I do not consider a stereo input uh, two inputs it's one okay I'm not arguing that at all if I can't sit there and and lower the sound of one and, and raise the other sound with faders and I can't have different sounds like different effects going on different on on them it's one that's, that's all I'm saying it's one so in this case, um, the model. Let, let, first of all, I want to show you this picture. I had some fun. I put, I, I gingerly put my DP32 onto the model 24. So here it is. Um, as you can see, it's <laughs> now. Now I ha I shifted it over because when I put it on top fully, it kind of it kept sliding, and I didn't want to take the chance of it falling. So I just thought, okay, I'm just going to put it there, so you can see. The size difference it is it's it's a like it's the width wise are the same depth wise completely completely different and uh, and yeah I'll, in a second I'll show you my desk here um, so and so the nice thing about that is they're both about the same width meaning that if I need to if I need to I can go and put it on my uh, rack that I have sitting over there Currently, that rack it has my DP32 on it, and my cassette four track, the four six or six four six, or is it four six four? I don't know. I always get it wrong. I think it's six four six. Um, but now let's get into why I bought this because one of the another thing that some people says someone said to me is, oh, well, I thought you, I thought you, you felt it wasn't right, and honestly, it was not right at the time. But now here it is sitting on my desk. As you can see, you gotta remember, I, I this is my this is my office desk. This is where I do my my nine to five work too. And I just put my keyboard here. And as you can see, I really there's my hand. I really don't have the room for it anymore. So what I've been doing, I do have a cover for it. So I've been putting the cover on, and then I have the keyboard on top of that. It's not bad. It's a little higher than what I'm used to. Um, my goal is to at some point get. Uh, overhaul the the heart the the furniture side of this area here to buy an actual studio desk and the one I'm looking at would actually be able to hold the DP the DP 32 and the model <coughs> excuse me 24 on it and then I would have enough space for everything and as you can see I don't have my effects my effects lines are right here these are my effects outs um, I'm gonna have to buy a longer cable they, I can't get them to reach here, so I need an extra foot. I think those are six feet. I'm gonna need to, I need, well, I guess I think next, next level is 10. 
Um, that's another that's another story, and I don't I don't want to go behind my rack and try to play with it. So, so as you can see, it is it is a big machine, and um, honestly, I really like it. It's it's nice it's nice to have the extra inputs. That is for sure. That's the one thing which I, I have complained about the DP32. Eight inputs is not enough. And for what where I'm going with things, I'm getting a, I'm now getting a lot of I'm not I'm now getting a lot of uh, calls to do video work. Um, some people want sound work, and I'm also now in a band again, so I would love to do some live off the floor recordings, and this is perfect for it. This this is like honestly the church when I bought this, the 16 for the church best idea I ever had because now because the church has a lot of has a lot of concerts they do at the moment no because of COVID but they have a lot of things that they do at the church where it comes in handy to be able to do things such as because we have we have a problem with with the speakers so muting down is quick you leave the, the, the mixers where they are the compression on this thing for vocals is great i use it our, our pianist is he has a beautiful voice but the problem was he always when he would get louder it would it would his it would just like it would go right over the speakers really loud so the, having the ability to just sit down and turn have the compression set somewhere and say okay when you hit that point it comes on and i'm and i'm watching it and he's he's playing he's singing quietly it's beautiful he starts to get you know, it's getting into an emotional part. He gets louder, and I'm watching the compression light just start to brighten up and and pick it and just hold it and then take it down. And it didn't sound. It sounded like it would. It never went higher. It was beautiful. I loved it. So, like, yeah. Once again, this is a beautiful machine. And as as I said, yes, I'm getting a lot more video work, and that and in in that case, yeah, like this is perfect. So you can have your you can have your sub channels so you can send your you can send uh, monitors to the to the stage which i'm going to have to do at some point you have your pa system you're going to have that you have your effects you know your minor effects on here this is perfect for a live like a live area like this would be perfect in a in a in a bar it would be perfect in a you know in a, in a school hall, like a hall. It would be perfect for that. It is because not only can you use it as a full-fledged live mixer, you can also use it to record what, you've, what you're what you mixing. That is, that's that's astounding. We're actually gonna end up trying that. I'm, I'm doing sound at the church in two weeks and we are actually going to do that. And I'm going to, we're gonna see how that works out, see, see how that how that goes because we are we are stream not streaming anymore we're video editing but this way i can capture everything and then and then he can just take it off of there and mix it with audacity however he wants or whatever he wants to use to mix it and yeah it's the same it's the same thing so with that being said now let's go back to my other screen here with that being said so yes i bought it at the time it didn't feel right from it didn't feel like a right fit for me it does now because of everything else I'm doing in my life, um, yeah, and getting calls to do live. I just want to make sure I, I just want to make sure I hit all my bullet points here. And I'm in a band now, yes. So I do want to do off the floor recordings with it. Um, things I do want to try. I'm not a DAW fan. I'm going to be honest with you there. I I I am. I just it's just not for me. But I want to try this as a DAW. And I've already hooked it up to Cakewalk, so I'm I'm going to do Cakewalk mainly because Cakewalk is free. Anybody can get Cakewalk. You don't have to pay for it. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to use it to uh, to record the the fall song challenge, which is on right now. I'm doing I'm doing a song on on uh, on the Model 24. I don't think I'm going to use a DAW for that, but there's things that I've there's things that I've learned already hooking it up to a DAW trying to find information on how to hook it up to a DAW. Not a lot of people have that. So I want to make sure that I give you and everybody else uh, full information, how to, how to do it, 
what troubles I had and that and so that's where I want to go with it and um, yeah so that is about it for me um, I hope you enjoy this video there's going to be there's going to be model 24 stuff now or model series because they're roughly the same although I do know the model 12 is a little different I don't know why um, if you watch uh, Mike at 424 recording he he's he has one and he's talked about it doing different things which I thought was weird um, but I do want to get into this more I want to get into how it works I love this thing it's only been a couple days but I had the model 16 so I already I already have that jump start of how this works and I'm already looking forward to it and, and here's the thing like here so there's there's the eight there's the eight inputs for the DP32 that's coming from my rack and then I have all these along here so I am really, really, really looking forward to, um, yeah, playing with this and learning how it works and seeing what we can do with it. And, um, but yeah, there will be DP32 videos still. There'll be model 16 or model 24. I will probably do some more comparisons. I did the comparison on the effects and yes, the DP32 won that one hands down, but for other things such as setting this up to, to do, um, to do like a full live recording this this is going to beat it um, I, I can't even argue with that that is just the way it's going to be you can already see that so that's my video talk to you later um, and I hope you enjoyed this if you do please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later again bye bye it would start you look around and you tell from the heart some of freedom fighters coming out of the walls Thousands of them, no escape at all Did I mention they were eight feet tall? Some of freedom fighters coming out of the wall